The Bay Area housing market is hot and doesn't seem to be cooling down anytime soon. So how do home buyers and sellers both benefit in this market? We're about to find out. Bay Area is a wonderful community. There's so many benefits. You can choose your lifestyle. There's educational opportunities like none other. There's ethnic diversity. I and mean, this is a very multicultural community. You want to go skiing, you're four hours away. You want to go to the beach, you're an hour away. It's a wonderful place to live. And you can see why there's so much pressure on housing here, because everybody would like to live here. Why don't you tell us some tips for home buyers that are interested in, in finding their next home? I think the first and foremost is you find yourself a good California realtor. And I say that in all candor because the truth of this, this marketplace especially, is it's, it's very challenging. And you need some good, sound advice. Get pre-approved for your financing. Your financing is the key to your success in a real estate transaction. If you don't have your financing peer arranged, you simply will not be considered real to the seller, especially not in a multiple offer world. Find yourself a good realtor, have them help you get a good lender that can help you put your financing together because without financing, you don't go very far. How do you go about finding a good realtor? Okay, that's, that's a good question. So there's many ways to do it. I would say, ask your friends, ask your, your relatives, ask your neighbors, who, who have they used in the past? What experiences have they had with people? The word of mouth is probably the best way to, to determine that. And then secondly, and almost as equally important, you know, go to the internet. I think it's pretty common nowadays to check online sources for recommendations as well. The truth is, is that's a good starting point. So what makes a really good realtor? At the end of the day, it's someone you connect with. You want to have someone helping you that understands your needs, that listens to what you're talking about, and knows what would be a successful transaction for you. How do you compete against people with cash offers? Cash is you know, one of the most important things to a seller, but at the, at the end of an escrow, all transactions are all cash. So an all cash transaction may not be the highest. So financing is not as much of a challenge as it used to be, and cash doesn't always win out. Right? There's an emotional side to every transaction. So sellers oftentimes will identify that young couple, for example, as themselves 30 years early. A good realtor will, again, take the time to communicate the true needs of the buyer and that big picture of that buyer. So a letter, pictures of kids. We've had videos taken in the backyard, kids playing in the backyard. Emotional issues will tug at the heartstrings of a seller. I can't wait to move in and make it ours. Best wishes to you and your family, and thank you. Take care. Bye-bye. A balcony off the master? Yes. We've talked a lot about potential home buyers. Talk about the sellers. What can they do to make sure they maximize their deal? Again, kind of working backwards to what we talked about from the buyer's point, get all your reports and disclosures in advance. Every house has issues. Now, they're not grand issues in, in most sense of the terms, but there's issues to disclose and, and opportunities to upgrade or fix things, etc. So get all your reports and disclosures in advance so that you can give them to the buyers before they draft their offers. That's the first thing. Secondly, educate yourself on the truth of the marketplace. Talk to a realtor. Your realtors know your immediate marketplace and understand that when you pick your price to sell the house at, you've accomplished 90% of your marketing. If you pick the wrong price, buyers won't come. If you pick too low of a price, you may leave some money on the table. What else can a seller do to get their home ready, aesthetically? First and foremost, declutter, right? So we live in houses differently than we sell houses. And so we all have stuff we can clean up. Stage it. Have a professional stager come in and tell you how best can you make this house show. I'm sure some people, they say, hey, I, I don't have the updated kitchen. I can't afford a full renovation remodel, yeah. or remodel. What do you tell them? You know, it's not necessary to completely gut a kitchen and start over again. The truth is, is that there's ways to expand any kitchen and make it look bigger. Quite frankly, oftentimes you go into a house and there's all sorts of appliances on the kitchen countertop. There's all sorts of accoutrements that you cook with, etc. My advice is get rid of all that. You'd be surprised how much countertop is actually still there. One of the things I would tell you to do is get professional photography. So I know that sounds kind of automatic to a certain degree, but with 94% of buyers starting online, then they're gonna see photographs of your house first. Make sure you look at your house through a potential buyer's eyes. So 
find a good realtor. Allow them to give you the words of wisdom that can help you with your acquisition or your sale.